This is the Bloody Eye Bedless, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing if the Bloody Eye Bedless 2 is actually the best mouse for dry clicking and Minecraft in general. It has the b 332 s premium performance sensor, fully programmable buttons, 0.2 millisecond response time, and it is a relatively cheap mouse costing only $49.99 US dollars. It uses the Bloody 7 software, fully customizable RGB lighting, so yeah, this is the Bloody Eye Bedless. It is said to be one of the best butterfly clicking and drag clicking mice for Minecraft. It can easily get up to 20 CPS butterfly clicking and up to 70 to 80 CPS butterfly clicking. I'll play a clip on screen right now of bullet clicking. As you saw in that clip, it can get up to 325 CPS bulk clicking, which is absolutely insane, compared to the Rokai Kane 100, which has a CPS cap of only 60. The Blade of Bedless weighs about 150 grams, which in today's standards is really, really heavy. Even though it can butterfly click and drag click really really high CPS, some people don't like it just because of the shape. The Bloody Eye Bedless has a really, in today's standards, weird shape just because of a weird line it has going down the center of it. The Bloody Eye Bedless has 8 buttons including all the DPI and color buttons and the scroll wheel button. The sides of the mouse have this weird kind of grip on it, which a lot of some people don't really like. Which I mean, I get how you wouldn't really like it, but... I like it, it doesn't really feel that weird to me. How I grip my mouse, it really doesn't affect it because I only, ba I barely really use the sides of the mouse, so it doesn't really affect me, but it might affect you. Okay, that's going to be it for today's review. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more of these, please request what you would like me to review in the comments. Anyways, adios everybody!